Hello guys, welcome to today's class where we'll be taking a new topic, we'll be, taking, we'll, we'll be looking at binary operations. Now in today's class we'll be considering everything involving binary operations, we'll be considering the basics of binary operations, what's, what is involved in the idea of binary operation. Now from the word, I'll be starting from the, the, its, its generic meaning, so from the word by meaning two, and then nary meaning numbers, then operations, that is operations relating each of these numbers together. I'll tell you that what binary operations are operations or a set of instructions that was that relates two objects or two variables as the case may be it relates them to actually produce a third now there are plenty of operations that there are plenty of general operations that we use in mathematics but the basic operations we use are what the addition subtraction multiplication and division those are the basics that we use there are other operations like your your exponents um there is there is there is the logarithmic um, functions and all but the basic operations we use are the words the addition subtraction multiplication and division these are all mathematical operations but when we talk about binary operations out of these four only three are used only three are what we can call binary operations that is the addition subtraction and multiplication so these are what we call the binary operations and then how do we actually now relate this how do we actually relate these operations so we know that what the, uh, the, each of these operations that we made, uh, each of the aforementioned operations have, have their own symbols and, 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 um, and signs. So we'll be, we'll be working on everything and then showing the properties that we can actually express through all these operations. So we know for, for a surety, we know for our binary operations, we have addition, and we have subtraction. So these are the basic binary operations that we're working with. Every other one we'll be working with will be based on this and then We'll be building on all this and all. Now, we need to understand that what, for each binary operation, there are properties that we actually consider, that we actually take. So you know that what, every other binary operation will be what will be working on um, combining each of these operations that we have here, that is the addition, subtraction, combining everything to form another operation on its own. So the properties that we're considering, while whilst we are, we are trying to implement all these properties, call them the properties the binary operation properties the first one very first one we talk about is the closure property they are either known as the binary operation properties or the binary operation laws so the very first one we have that we talk about is known as the closure property another one we have is the associative property associative property or associative law it is also known as associativity another one we deal with is a commutative property or as we, as we would guess commutativity right? next one we will be looking at is what we call the distributive law or the distributivity so we'll be looking at each of these properties and what each of them entails another one we deal with is what we call the identity element and then the final one we'll be talking about, the final one we'll be talking about is the inverse element. So these are the properties that we'll be considering under binary operations. Now, aside from the properties, there are some other things that we actually need to know. There are some basic things that we need to know about how we actually express all these things. So we'll be needing us towards, so we'll be needing us to remember actively our types of numbers that we used when we talked about numbers, n n numbers and numeration, that is our rational numbers, our real numbers, natural numbers, integers, positive integers, negative integers, complex numbers, and, and so on and so forth. So we need to understand the, the distinct difference be between each of these numbers and how we can actually separate each of them. So these are what we'll be considering in the next class. We'll be looking at each of these properties one by one and then working on them and solving questions on them. See you next class.